Mm. Yeah, so Captain America. I got Leo Drew here. We, Leonardo mm. Drew. By the way, you know it's funny. You I call think, me Leo. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. All right, yeah, mm. all right. Mm. Um, I was thinking about your name, you know, Leonardo Drew. Which, mm. I know three Leonardo. I mm. know three Leonardos, and they all mm. have D's at the last name. Oh, right, Leonardo DiCaprio. But no one is a fr- is a it's a full on sentence like. Leonardo Drew. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, that name actually was when I was uh, in uh, grammar school. It was a, a point of contention because the kids would tease me. I bet. Right? So I mean, you're growing up in a project, you got a name like Leonardo. I mean, yeah, I'm not right? gonna leave you alone. That's one. And I didn't ever want to own up to it. So really? the teachers would call me out, and I wouldn't answer. You know, you know, like first day of class. They ask um, Leonardo, Leonardo Drew, Leonardo Drew, and I wouldn't answer. You know, it's like uh, I wanted to be, I wanted my name to be something else, and uh, it wasn't in time. Well, I mean, I could have, I could have taken on anything except for Leonardo because it just, I mean, where did that come from? Yeah, where did it come from? Somebody in your well, family? Well, like you, you know, my mother would like to take credit for my name, but yeah. the truth of the matter is, I didn't know my father well. You know, my mother. Beat him up and threw him out when <laughs> when I was like seven. Right, and I remember seeing the beating, and that was the last time I ever saw him. And, but he was an artist, uh, and his name was Leon. Okay, and so the now this is this is pure uh, speculation. But my mother, who I cannot believe, <laughs> named me Leonardo because she didn't know who Leonardo was. Yeah. But my father, who was an artist, would have known who Leonardo was. Right, right. And I'm like, uh, you know, like a second born, usually father would name the second born after him. Right. You have four brothers, right? I have four, five brothers. Five together, brothers. Wow. So I, of which I'm the second. Yeah, I see. So he would have named me Leonardo if his name was Leon. Now, I never had the opportunity to ask him that, but I believe that that would be the truth of it. Uh, my mother would say that she named me, but I don't believe it. Right. <laughs> and are you, any other brothers? Your other four brothers, five brothers? Yeah, well, or very odd names. Do you, and but do they are they artists? No. Um, well, we, we well, in the beginnings uh, when we were kids, we were all drawing, and we would have these contests to see who was the best. Now there would be an outside judge. One of the uh, neighbors, yeah. would come over, and uh, would judge, and I was always winning. So they just gave up and they just went yeah. into sports and I just continued like being the artist in the family. So, and, and the truth of it is, um, if I were to think back on how they were, you know, navigating, you know, the uh, figures and things that they were drawing, right? Um, you know, no, they weren't on the same level. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that that that's not vanity. That's, <laughs> that's just reality. That, that's reality. Well, yeah. and in fact, by the mm. time you're 13, you yeah. are already won a contest. Oh, an right? addict. Yeah, I mean, you I was a show addict, really no. at the at the na- at the bank. And I think no, no. It, listen, in the end. You, I got tested. My mother w- really was a wall. She wanted to stop me from drawing and painting and like uh, she because they were, yeah. I was doing terrible in school. Uh. So they would give me a test paper and I would draw all over it. And so I was uh. just like you know incorrigible. She, so yeah, she, she just she, thought you didn't care. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. So I mean, and you're growing up in a hood. It's yeah. like you know it, it would look like that. And she didn't know what I was going to become or what. And I did, I was an addict, so I couldn't stop. So the only thing that did get her to stop, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, like uh, trying to sort of um, uh, get in the way of what I was doing is so I started making money. Hmm. Uh, you know, I was doing drawings in the neighborhood of, of you know, you know, like uh, of, of, of people and their portraits kids and, and porches. Yeah. And you were bringing in money. Right. And that stopped, you know, all this like harassment because it was like, OK, where's my cut? Was like, my, <laughs> so, <laughs> and did so, you have to give a cut? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Money is money. You know, so it's you like, learned like, about uh, dealers oh, right off no, no, the bat. No, right yeah, off. Right off. We're talking. Cut. I would have been like at that time, probably when I was making money, maybe about um, 10. Wow. And then when I started exhibiting, it was making even more money. So I was 13. So like uh, that was your first show. That really, was the first right? exhibition at the bank. And then I started exhibiting at the library and then yeah. graduated to Westport, Connecticut yeah. and started exhibiting there in the country clubs. And then, of course, moved into New York to go to school. And I stopped doing that type of work. Right. Then like I'm, then yeah. I was following like artists like Maxwell Parrish and Norma Rockwell, yeah, right. okay. uh, the Wyatts. And yeah. like um, and because I, I, I didn't know any better. I thought this is what. Art was. Yeah, if it's realism and tight, uh, it has to be good yeah, art. Right? And I, I didn't know who, you know, like when the Picasso exhibition came to uh, uh, MoMA, that was when I had a real taste of what 
uh, the fine arts were. That was 1980, right? That would have been 1980, but like you Jackson like Pollock, I, I was that introduced to Jackson. Yeah, no, 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 that's, I know you've done your homework. So, <laughs> smart man. But, <laughs> but I think that in the end, uh, it, it certainly was Jackson Pollock who really introduced me to uh, the fullness of, of abstraction yes. and the possibilities of what, you know, what was out there for me. And Picasso just sealed it. Yes. And so from there, it was like, you know, I said, you're not going to be doing any more of this illustrations. It's like, uh, which I started to understand that this was illustration. Yes. And this is actually fine art. And it was one of those debates that continued when we were in school. When I was at Parsons, that was one of those debates. And when I got to Cooper Union, was it continued there too. And that was the first school. So you went to Parsons for two years, and then yeah, you finished and got your degree you got at it. Cooper Union, right? Yeah, <laughs> You're good. Yeah, 1985, I <laughs> Yes, think. that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that, you know, like uh, uh, Cooper was a great testing ground because you had you know, really great teachers there, uh, Jack Witten, uh, Ked Zapkis. I mean, it was like, it was just an array of like, a, you know, a, a teacher who's gonna, who are going to challenge you. And they saw something in what I was doing, even if it was like, you know, a prettified surface, which is what really, uh, in the end, uh, if you're an illustrator, you understand like uh, how to stylize, how to capture, uh, you know, but with, you know, like uh, the next, level would be to sort of peel back back, peel back that surface and be able to penetrate and get at the substance of what all this is about. You know, the abstractionist is like And were uh, you doing that at Cooper Union? Were you doing Yeah, I was experimenting. I mean I was doing all kinds yeah, of stuff. You were was, trying to find your voice, you think, at that point? Absolutely. Uh, I knew that uh, you know like uh, uh, that there was something beyond that surface. And what that was for me I didn't know. Yes, but I knew that in order to sort of uh, 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 to meet that, I needed to tie my hands, and that's what I did. Literally, it was like tying my hands and say, "Okay, you can no longer paint. These are things that were good at. No more drawing. No more painting." You stopped doing uh, that at about twenty-one, right? Something like that. That would have been about right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> but you did that because you realized if you stop that and you that would open up the because your creative juices are going to have to flow right you they, can't they, stop I, that, I couldn't right? stop and yeah. it's like but I needed to sort of like at least challenge my get to the next place and how do you do that by uh, if you're using crutches all the way through you're really not going to learn how to uh, uh, maneuver and walk so I think that you need to sort of continue to challenge myself to this day that's still the case mm. I mean but those were the beginnings of uh, my challenges uh, the new challenges are just what we spoke, we were speaking about earlier. Right. Uh, you know, like a, a you know, like a, you realign yourself with former parts of yourself in order to sort of like learn what the new self is. So uh, now, when I say that, I know I'm standing on the shoulders of many artists. You know, I'm not alone in this. Right. All artists. Yeah. Do this. Exactly. Good I mean, the, the very idea that you know, like uh, that you're coming in and you're uh, reinventing the wheel is like you know one of those falsehoods, and I think that you need to sort of um, uh, be able to sort of take a step back, uh, uh, understand that it's a collective. It's an it's an experience that actually is about uh, all of us. It's not just you uh, and how you're how you're perceiving things, but it's it's actually you history and how you make adjustments and add to a continuum of history. So, uh, so yeah. artists like Nevelson and Hess, those would be people that you would be able to relate to. You think in your I own work? Think they, them, and I think others, and I think that they will also, you know, align themselves with artists, and you know, and, and we're part of a continuum. Yeah, we, so yeah. we're not we're not ever coming into this, you know, um, whole cloth I, as a you know yeah. as a full on, you know, like a, no, that doesn't happen. I mean, like you look at Picasso's work. There was an exhibition at a MoMA um, uh, called Primitivism. I don't yes. know if you remember right. this exhibition. Mm -hmm. it was, it's very controversial yep. for all the right reasons. Um, it was a good thing they put that exhibition together, but the premise was ass backwards. Uh, it was the idea that like uh, these artists actually were uh, civilizing in some way right. the, uh, these <laughs> natural abstractionists. So you look at right. the African mass, yeah. uh, the oceanic people. Right. I mean, and what you know, Picasso was doing with them. It's just like, no, he is actually building on right. a, a very, very sound uh, 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 artistic ground. basis. Exactly. That's right. So it's like, so, 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 so 
the, the, the very idea that, no, no one's coming into this, like, without actually standing on the shoulders of, of, of his predecessors. Well, even Paul, even, you know, if you look at Jackson mm. Pollock, mm. he says that in his abstract paintings, the mm. ones that he, you know, the strips, mm. sand paintings, Navajo sand paintings. He watched them make it mm. going around, and he got the So generous to actually allow us into that, right? Yeah. To let us know yeah. that... that, that he didn't come into it like you know, like uh, he wasn't in, you know reinventing anything. No, you know yeah, yeah. it was all there, and yeah. he un he saw it and he added to it. Yep. He, you know, he stood on top of that, and then actually now gives respect yep. to those things that like uh, that that influenced him. And I think that this is the mark of uh, of not only a, a an honorable uh, man, but a one that is actually spiritually connected and understand that there's a cosmic reality to things. It's not just about uh, 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 these things that you can actually touch and feel, uh, you know, that, that is only the, 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 the top layer. Uh, beyond that is something far deeper, more spiritual, and in the end, it is the one that's more lasting. And, and it continues throughout, and it penetrates all of us. But it's, you know, if you're an artist, you're allowed to sort of ha actually have a peek into it. And, and um, embrace it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you're pulling nine to five, it's very difficult to, to take <laughs> you know the time out right. to sort of embrace another side of you. And uh, that do you would, always yeah. try to embrace mm -hmm. that when you're in the studio that you don't that's look. natural. That's that's natural happenstance in the studio. I mean, yeah. you don't try to do anything. It's the fact is you've been doing it all your life. You understand it this way, and you understand also that you need to sort of continue to sort of push uh, past and add to uh, uh, life will be um, tiresome and boring if you sort of like uh, uh, just harp down the same yeah. you know theme all the time. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Well, I think great <laughs> artists can't. I think mm, they mm -hmm. have to push themselves to get to that other mm -hmm. level. And I think mm -hmm. for you, from what I can see, is mm -hmm. that you really do go in episodic runs of ideas, starting mm -hmm. with number eight, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's Absolutely. might as well go into that, because yeah. that's a, that was a very important piece that you did, right? I yeah. mean, that's 1988 when it really kind of right. came <laughs> together, yeah? <laughs> hey, I got to do my research. I'm interested. You something. I own one of your pieces. I want to know who I'm buying from. Well, number eight, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, the fact that it was made up of all, I mean, it's number eight because it's made up of one, one to through seven, seven right? exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and, and the idea that, like, um, that you could ask yourself questions about not only who am I, you know, like, there, there, there's always these layers of the self that we all at some point have to deal with, you know, who we are spiritually, who we are sexually, who we are morally, mm -hmm. who we are, you know, like, all these things come to uh, a point, especially if, if you're an artist, because you're going to need to sort of like to um, solidify these things so that you, I can speak to you uh, um, in the most honest and straightforward way. And if you deal with these things honestly, then yes, I'm going to be able to, 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 um, to, to, exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And it should be always a marrying of 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 the us in this. There never should be a time when uh, uh, I feel disconnected uh, from you. I should be able to sort of always have a dialogue, you know, with you and with all of of. of I mean, we, we you humanity. know, we're not alone. Yeah. We're yeah. not alone in this. So so so. Um, but you need to sort of deal with the truth, though. That means that you need to sort of like say, okay, this is what I am. You know, you've gone through uh, uh, all of these uh, layers of, 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 of attempting to understand the self. Now, keep in mind that that's a part of a continuum, the understanding of the self. Sure. So it, it's like you... you, you Which grows, break. too. Exactly. Yep. It and you never... Right. I don't think you ever really get to... Any, no, any you're always final, looking. Final, no, no, you're always... <laughs> always and, 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 if, and if you're going to, you know, ask these questions and, and make them concrete in terms of, like, actually building actual works... From all these uh, uh, um, the uh, uh, layers of, 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 of that you strip away, you now have to actually do something with that. So I think as an artist, I think that you you know you you, you find that the the, the 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 ongoing challenges will always be uh, um, you know what's on the other side of this you know, and uh, if you believe that you have the answers, then why don't you just like do it. Exactly, yeah. And in, in continue to sort of flip that, though, too. Sort of like, uh, um, uh, because there could be always these uh, multi-layered answers to a question. 
uh, you know, like uh, you, you like to believe that there's an absolute in terms of truth. But yeah. I don't know. There are no yeah. absolutes. No, there's no absolute. It's not an A, B, C, D. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. all of the above. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> <laughs> it does if you've taken death. So when you see a, when you, mm. for a, a piece like that, mm. that you've done. Mm. We have to interrupt. For yeah. Two Sons of Humor Bar now. They, you, you have to go. Oh. We'll, we'll get them there. Yeah. Tell her I'll take them. Yeah. They, um, we tried that one. Okay, tell them I'll... Kathleen I'll, got on the phone with Tuesday and Gilmore and told me to come in and go ahead. And what time is it now? It's like 3.20, and you're supposed to be there at 3.30. Uh, the sound check was 4.30 or something like that, yeah. right? We'll be out in a minute. Tell them we'll yeah, come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Mm. We can cut that part. Mm. No, actually, you know, this mm. is what it happens. See, mm. this man is in need for mm. Tucson Museum, Museum of Art, but we're going to do a little more anyway. <laughs> sorry, yes. TMA. No, 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 no. Yeah. Not with you, baby. Yeah, sorry, sorry baby. <laughs> Come um, the best part, man. Yeah, but, you know, one of the things I want to know is when we mm. look at, when you have the viewer look at, like, that number eight, mm. now, do you have, I know you have your idea of what it is, mm. but do you want the viewer to see their own idea of what that? Well, that's why they're numbered. Yeah, because you know? I see it as yeah. one way, and you may see it completely different from And I me. need to, that's how I'm going to end up in every learning. Yeah. Because if if I say that I'm going to, you know, try to make an attempt to sort of like be as honest uh, about a full on experience as possible, that means including how you're seeing it also. So you're, 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 you're a part of uh, the creative process, and I can't exclude that from... Uh, the final realization of all of, of what I'm doing. So, like, uh, uh, so it's not just my journey. Your input actually is absolutely necessary. Yeah, absolutely. And so you call that the mother, right? Yeah, that, that's the mother. Yeah. And that's because yeah. from that point mm -hmm. on, as far as you're concerned, that's where mm -hmm. you found your. You really found your voice. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, and absolutely. everything kind of generates from that. Yeah, and and it still continues from because I mean, you. I know that birth life. Uh, uh, birth, life, death, and regeneration are so much a part of that piece. But I went through so much. It was so cathartic in its realization that it's still, whenever I touch anything, those are the very same uh, 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 questions. Even if I'm not even asking them, yeah. they're coming up and they're and, and the final say, they are the most pronounced uh, 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 anchors of, 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 of the compositions of these words. And when you wrote those notes in your book on that, mm -hmm. did you write that before you had written, made the piece? Or was no, it kind of looking back at it? There are notes that are done, like, um, as I'm working on things, and then there are notes that are done, you know, even drawings that are done, because mm. I don't do studies. So if you still see drawings, they are done sometimes years later. Yeah. You know, and, and people believe that, oh, these are the studies, but no, 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 they have a life of their own. Yeah, every one of these comes out of some deep place in exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. So and I and I and I and I am I'm, I'm just trying to get out as much as possible. I mean, if you're gonna be a channel, then like just you know, make an attempt to be a clear path. Yeah. You know, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so mm. the piece that's in the show that the thirty Americans that's on right now that we're gonna go see, <laughs> number twenty five. Right? Is yeah. that here? Yeah. I, you know, I hadn't seen that exhibition. Oh, yeah. Number 25 is here. Ooh, so that was okay. also a very important piece. That whole 20, what, th mm -hmm. four, that whole series. That, that, tell us about oh, that. Yeah. Well, it's the, all the cotton. The, well, that, that's an interesting one because I think that something else took hold of me at that point because I didn't realize, I mean, there was like, you know, like uh, uh, all this work that was uh, uh, based on, I didn't think about making works that were going to be based on cotton. But I think that as a, uh, an African-American, I think that there is a there is a deep, rich history that should be mine. Yeah. And I think that, like, I was doing it without Ashley. Uh, um, Even uh, thinking about it? I wasn't, because I can yeah. tell you that that cotton wall piece that's, you know, the Rubel's part of the 30 Americans, right. I was with a girlfriend maybe about a good, like, uh, almost... Uh, 10 years, 11 years later, we were driving from uh, 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 Atlanta, Georgia, Tallahassee, Florida, and we ran into this cotton field. In the middle of that cotton field was a machine that was pumping out these cubes. Yeah. And it was stacking them like, exactly like uh -huh. number 25. And I was like, you know what? I could have like, actually had this machine rather than pushing this bale of cotton down Broadway, cutting up the material and like, you know, with scissors. It was, all, it was a very painful piece to create. And yeah. actually, almost all the works, and pretty much it is a continuum how I make work. There's always a lot of bloodletting, so there's yeah. a lot of pain involved. So there's, you know, like uh, uh, the work ethic 
uh, uh, is something that I need to sort of like still have to deal with. Yeah, and it's, all your yeah. pieces are like that. You have to have your hand in them working. Yeah, and it, it's, it, it's can be problematic because you know, like uh, even with like the piece that you own, you know, like uh, uh, it's that very issue that wanted me to sort of like continue to sort of like push. The piece it had to do with like just wanted to be busy, right. wanted to be actually create, wanted to layer with, with more things, and it's like, you know, like the mature the mature artist at some point realizes that within simplicity there's complexity, and uh, and spiritually you need to sort of like deal with that. And however it's going to be introduced to you, you need to be able to know when it's happening. Yeah. Because if you don't know it, then you're not going to respect it. And you're just going to walk right over it. And uh, the fact that you introduced this Navajo rug to me yeah. and its simplicity, yeah. it sort of forced me to sort of deal with that issue. And then realizing as I was working on it, it was like, you know what? This could be done now. And the next layer was like, it could be done at this point too. Uh -huh. And it's like, you know what? Leave it alone. This, yeah. is, this is telling you it's actually creating you. You're not creating it. It's creating you. Yeah. So you need to stop and listen. And we're going to share that whole video with everybody so they'll have it and they can hear it and see it on YouTube. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh. So one, I just I know they're pushing us to get to the museum, so we'll kind of make it faster than I want to. But yeah. Yeah, we'll I'm enjoying this. Yeah, I know. Like, I mean, really. I know, right? I should tell. I mean, really, I'm the boss here. <laughs> <laughs> I got to live in this town. <laughs> okay. I'll, yeah, you get it. I'll give you your piece. <laughs> but I, want, I do want to cover when you go to Africa in 92 mm. and mm. you come back and you're mm. inspired by what you you see there right you know the honest god truth is is that i take in information and i'm not coming back to create based on things that i actually witness got or something. It. It, it it's not necessary yeah it's emotionally touched exactly you no no it, exactly and it's going to come up at some point it, yeah. if it chooses to yeah and I know that even our conversation now will have in some way some influence on how I perceive the next me. And, um, and I know this as a fact, and I don't have to call on it. I don't have to say like, oh, Mark said this, yeah. and I need to do this. You know what I mean? it, it's not necessary. If you said something that was poignant, then it's, it's definitely going to show up. Yeah. And it may take years for me to actually realize it. Maybe I'll look back and I say, oh, you know, that was that conversation I had with Mark. Yeah. And this is how this happened. And, and, and it usually happens that way. Because it wasn't until like number 43 was created, which was would have been probably like 94. Yeah. And I was in Africa like 90, Two. 92. Yeah. So it was like, um, and I look back and I say, okay, yeah. Percolated. Catacombs, yeah. you know, like, um, you know, and like the, these uh, claustrophobic, you know, like uh, 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 corners where, where my people were kept uh, before they were put on the boat. And it's like, uh, that's in there. I mean, it's in those boxes. Yeah. But I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't come back and say, I'm going to create this piece right. based on that. I mean, that would be just, like, ridiculous. Yeah. You know, for me, it would be ridiculous. Yeah. I don't create that work that well, way. Well, it's not original then for you. No. For you, it has to come from the gut. It, it has to be a cathartic experience. Yeah. It should be yeah. one that you actually, um, you experienced it and you allow the rhythms of, 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 of time and uh, to sort of like, you know, uh, to live through you. And, and if I'm numbering these things, you know, I'm not thinking so much any, anyway about like uh, uh, what the dialogue should be. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm, 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 I'm creating and it's like using, you know, you know, juggling seven things at the same time. So there's this like, you know, something that you really have to deal with at some point, which is, you know, like each work actually is in, one work is influencing the other. You're borrowing from this one. And it's like, um, but where was the impetus in the beginning to sort of create, you know, from it, it goes too far back. I can't, I can't really grab at why things happen the way they happen. They it's, happen. The history is, is too long. And, and if I even now speak beyond my body and say that I'm standing on the shoulders of all these other artists, then in fact, the truth of the matter is, is that, 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 that is not just you. So I mean, like yeah. I, I it stretches everyone. too far back. Yeah. It's it's like it, 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 it's it's one I just have to keep going straight forward. Yeah. I don't think so much about what's behind me. But if you do look forward. back, I bet you do see inflection points and go, okay, here was one. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, here's one. That's a lot of fun when that does happen. Yeah. When, but the, honestly, it very rarely do I run into have the opportunity. So sort of like, I mean, when it does happen, when I run into something at a museum or someone's collection, it 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 it, it, it it's always a shot to the system because you're used to seeing them up against all these others. 
And now you're seeing them actually, uh, they're standing on their own legs. Yeah. They're not, they're not, they don't need you to prop them up. Uh -huh. And they don't need anything to prop them up. They, they're like your grown kids out there doing their thing. You yeah. know? And it's like, um, and you just have to like bow and say like, you know what? Your life is yours, baby, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> and so you now have a new kind of rhythm that you've got going on with these mm. colored pieces with yeah, bringing into color. color. Yeah, how's that? Because, I mean, you've really, that's a, that's a, that's a different thing for you. It in, is. In 30 but, years, but, right? But, but, but exactly, because but you, yeah. you have to think back on my beginnings. And, ah, the, yeah, and, and I, right. if I talk to some Captain of my America. friends. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Talk, I talked to some of my friends. Who knew me back then? They'll say, "Well, you always were great with color," and it's like, that's, I, "It's gonna say if uh -huh. I tell them I have a difficult time with color, they look at me like, are you crazy? You're like you used to kill it back in the day, yeah. you know?" Huh? And it's like, uh, and, and 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 I, you know, it's so funny that I feel as though I'm, um, you know, like, uh, you know, relearning uh, something that was innate, and uh, and at this point, it's like. It's, it is, I have to say that it's a beautiful journey because it, it, I have to strip everything down mm -hmm. and then put it back together again, literally. I mean, so color is not the way that I was painting back when I was like in high school. No, of course not. You know, and like um, my understanding of like how to compose, how to sort of shade, all this, all those things are probably still in there because I can even see them in how I abstract things. Like uh, uh, if I make a, you know, like a, like a, a diptych, right. you know, like uh, I know that it has a lot to do with how I created, you know, things back. When I was much younger, and how I would actually have the de uh, deline 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 uh, delineations and gradations, yeah. all those things are part of how I learn how to sort of like break things down, uh, how I you know maintain the composition and how I form the structure. So like as I'm moving forward, indeed the 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 the, the, the how I size up uh, a color, how I'm you know broken it down and now bringing it back together has everything to do with uh, not. Only with my history, but all the things that I, you know, experienced everything. Like along and you, you know, you're getting yeah. close to sixty. Yeah. And, you know, but you, know, you wonder if that doesn't come full circle. You've, you know, you're allowing yourself to do that now. I don't know. I mean, I, I, only I, I you know. I think suspicion that that's true. Yeah. You know, uh, and we'll only know when I, you, yeah. know, you guys, finally put me burying my cigarette yeah. box. You know. <laughs> yeah. Somebody writes, oh yeah, exactly. this, this is mature phase. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that was that would be the last word because it won't be actually one of coming from me. That's for sure. But you know, it won't be a story that I would be writing. Yeah. It yeah. will be one that I'll be actually creating. Yeah, yeah so, and you're yeah. doing it right now. <laughs> so they got Leo Drew, Leonardo Drew. You're fantastic. I love your art. I love oh, having it in my you. house. We're gonna share it on the end of this. Our Leo and I got to talk about his fantastic piece. It just made my life. So you're a wonderful human being. Unfortunately, everybody wants you. So I gotta cut this part. We gotta cut this part now. Brother Mark. Brother Mark. Brother Leo. All right, Leo Drew. He's fantastic. Anybody who hasn't uh, seen his work, you have to. If you happen to be in Tucson, it's up right now, too, at the Tucson Museum of Art. Thank you, Leo. All right. Oh, Off. We'll get All you right. Out. They're coming right. to get us. They're coming. They're going to come and get me. I know that. First time you got to see it. No, I mean, honestly, I'm right? just looking at it and, you know, knowing when to stop is not a bad thing. Right. Knowing when to stop because I wanted to put so much into this thing, you know, and... I'm looking at it and it's like, it is just so, oh my goodness, full. Huh? And you can't, I mean, I, it makes me actually want to rethink what's going on in the studio, honestly, because this is um, perfect. Yeah, I mean, it fits perfectly. No, and it's, it's energies, oh. it's like, and how it's yeah. reaching out and yeah. what it's doing. I mean, the, the amount of time that you put into, um, you know, spiritually into like realizing where this thing needs to go. Right. And then listening to it, you know, it, it's, it's what you, when you have like seven crying babies in the studio, huh? it's like huh? it's difficult to huh? hear, you know, what the dialogue, what the true dialogue is between you and that thing that you're working right. on. And usually I'm, you know, like juggling seven crying babies. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I'm looking at this and it's like, how the hell did this thing get out of there without huh? like, getting fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is the huh? point, that's the best yeah. thing I can say. It's like, yeah. no way this could have, this should have been out, been able to get out and become what it is here now. This is, it's a lesson. Usually my work is so like, um, 
I don't know, compared to this, it's just over. Um, um, this is just perfect. Yeah, I, I mean. The selection of, 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 the, uh, of the arm. Yeah, no. No, I, I, and, and, and they're and, ancient. They have this feel of ancient. I don't know how old that wood is, I, I, listen, but I it's. You, they, you're not allowed to go in and chop down trees yeah. in New York. But you know, I had my chainsaw. <laughs> I made my way through, and it's like so. Yeah, so there's these little, little nooks and crannies uh, embedded in the uh, in, in, uh, in the parks and in the cemeteries, because you know I'm yeah. surrounded by like, yeah. like eight cemeteries. Right. So I just go in and I like you know, and we just chop up material, and this is a part of that. And we have to sort of like, of course, you know, like uh, uh, treat it. Uh, I mean, because there are a lot of critters who make, you know, this is their right. home. Right. So it's like, you know, the same um, uh, bork here is what I use. Yeah. And it's it it, it does drag drive them out, and it becomes a, a permanent poison from this point out. So you shouldn't have, you know, a, a anything trying to find right. its way back into it. So now it's, it's when poison. I want to put my Parrot right there. <laughs> you did parrot. <laughs> I won't do that then. <laughs> or my lizard. I would not advise. <laughs> I can only tell you. But it's, it's it's pretty strong. But I'm just looking at just the um, the life force. I mean, when I called this thing a kachina, it was it, it was it, it was on impulse. Yeah. And I'm, realizing, of course, you know, like uh, uh, you know, uh, that 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 the idea of the kachina is that there's the you know the life force exists in all objects, everything. Right. And uh, this is this is exactly. And so I know the title because it's a Navajo weaving we use. You title it Navajo too, mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Though you don't really title your paint pieces. These are working titles in the studio. Yeah, in the so studio. So between between like uh, 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 my workers. And myself, we have to like, you know, we yeah. don't call out numbers. Yeah, right. I couldn't like, there are a few numbers that I actually remember. Yeah. You said 43 earlier, I said yeah. 43. Yeah, or 25, and you, you said know. 75, I know 75, and I know yeah. 24, and, and so, yeah, but and, and you know, like, like, <laughs> we're up to like 400 or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. at this point. So, and I mean, there are these offshoot numbers. So I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's a way of allowing you to find yourself in the work. Got because it. if I told you, that this was a Kachino or a Navajo, you probably would park it right there. Yeah, for sure. And, and, and I right. think that you should be allowed to sort of have a full-on experience yeah, no. without me actually telling you. But the fact is, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's just no, there's like no separation. That, that We know what that is. Right, and, and when you look like, at that, oh, no, no, no. that 1890s piece. That, that's, that's, that's Navajo. Yeah. You know, looking right. at that up against my Persian rugs, right. you know, right away, it, 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 there's, a, there's a signature. Yeah. And uh, this is just... Well, when I saw your pieces, that piece in your studio, and the Persian, I go, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy that you introduced, oh. you know, the Navajo, because it was like, yeah. I would not have parked it or come to this, yeah. you know, like, I don't think I would have arrived at this. You have to introduce it to me. Yeah. You know, I was so and you ran with it. Yeah, you liked it. Yeah, no, no, you, sent, you sent me like a number of them, but yeah. this was the one that I picked. And I'm looking at the, some of the things that occurred that you don't really notice in the studio when you're working on these things. You know, it's just like, do you see this here, the dark areas? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I know how that happened. It, 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 it's, it's, it's laying too close to something that was being attacked. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. it's just, and, it, and it, they borrow from each other. And it's just like there's always this ongoing dialogue between the works in the studio. So they borrow off of each other all the time. And it's like, um, so if I'm like all of a sudden like, you know, working on one piece or whatever, and this one is saying, you know, I need some of that. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it, it, it will find its way into the work. I mean, look at that surface though. Yeah, I know. And, and, <laughs> and you know, when you see this, you can I, I think I even told you when you emailed me the picture when you first did it, I was like, yeah, that's the image. That's the colors. I mean, you look at the, the real thing, the piece that it came off of from the 1890s, you get those colors, that oh, same sensibility man. and the structure and how it you know, evolved into this is just incredible. Now, one of the most amazing things oh, about goodness. the Navajo world, right, mm -hmm. is so they believe in the third world, that they came from the third world to the fourth world. And when they came up through that emergence hall to battle the demons, the hero twins, they had to battle the world. When I see this, I see that coming through the third world to the fourth world and exploding. And if that wasn't amazing enough, these two paintings, which were done in 1917, 
in, a, in um, for New, Me in New Mexico, there was a big mural that used to be here mm -hmm. for a, over a hundred years. And when I bought these, they had sold the middle mural, which I thought was a shame. And guess what? Now it's found its home again. <laughs> they found a place because the mural was almost the same size. Oh my goodness! So in fact, this was a triptych. It was a triptych. And, and, it, how, and it, is a, it is a triptych again. It, yes, but it, that's, it's, what a story. Isn't that crazy? And I've never had these paint. I've always had the paintings close together because I didn't have anything for the middle. And then I thought, oh my God, Leo made the middle. <laughs> <laughs> that is poetic. Isn't I mean, that unbelievable? No, no, I, this is something, really, because I have not let any of these color works out. And you're coming through and getting me to sort of like, you know, say, okay, you know what? Maybe it's, you know, maybe they're ready for prime time. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I'm looking at this and it's like, man. I mean, would it, it I mean, would you have a, a problem with me actually using the other images, the uh, other Navajo uh, images? No. Go for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, go for I, it. I, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I think. Because this, you know what? At least I this is Navajo more. number one. <laughs> <laughs> so feel free. Oh, yeah, well, they're, they're beautiful things. Do you have other images? Oh, yeah. Are you willing to share them? Yeah, those? I'll show you. Oh, yeah. right. No, no. Are you willing to give them to me? I'm, will <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to give them to you. I am. I, I think that, Just no, the I, images, I, I, not I, I the text. No, no, no. no. I, need to, I, need to, I need to limit them. Yeah. And I need to sort of like, um, I mean, if they can find. I can send you the textiles, and you can sit there with the textiles laying on your lap. Man, I mean, because if you can do this kind of stuff from an image, I can only imagine what it's like if you actually have the real thing and sitting in front of you. <laughs> I love the way you just found the different sizes of the, of the branches and they all work. I mean, it's just, I've sat in these chairs now for over probably four hours just sitting here looking at it. And I placed the chairs so people could just come and observe. This is really um, moving. I mean, really, I'm like, and I'm looking at it, but you know, the, the marks, the blue marks, did you see those? Yeah, I did. I wanted to ask you about that. I assume those where you were going, they go here, yeah, they go and, here. And they kept shifting too. Yeah. But huh? it, you know, to have the wherewithal to leave those things, I mean, that's something yeah. that, that, that is like, these, I, I call those happy accidents. I can't really take full credit uh -huh. for them because they kind of like, they, add, they give you another dimension. You know? Yeah. It's like the black, the, the uh, sprayed black area. Right. That's the only place where that exists. You, it doesn't exist anywhere else. It's only there, you know? And I wondered and, about yeah. that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you spotted that, too. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So what did you think? I mean, what did you, like, what, 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 what did you, how it, did you, like, deal with that? That's, you mean the different parts of it? The, the black area. Oh, well. The sprayed black area. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's just the degeneration of... Mm -hmm what of, the, of this textile, this is how I saw it, and, and some kind of new life form that's coming out of it for the next generation. Because all weavings, mm -hmm. these were made to be worn, right? So if it's really made to be worn and used, at some point in time, it's gonna go away because it's gonna get worn out, and that's it. And so, and what happens with that? Well, maybe some of that gets put back to Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. and what happens there? We have. We, we have trees and plants Absolutely. that come out, Absolutely. you know, and this is, to me, I just, it just works. It really works. Well, this has always been the base premise of, like, how I create, though. I mean, the idea of, you know, birth, life, death, and regeneration. So, yeah. I mean, that is, I mean, it's so in me now that I don't think about it. It's yeah. just going to come out in all the things. Like, when I made the decision to sort of, like, challenge, like, uh, my rust pieces from the past, I said, okay, you know what? There's a there's definitely a power in this, but what if I tied my hands, and took that away, mm. and just work with just white paper? Yeah, it ends up being very much pretty much the same thing. Yeah, and, and because once you find your voice, man, that's it, baby. It's yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, you yeah. just follow the thread, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I see this. I see the looking, having looked through your books, to the the thread of your work going through. Um, though it does seem, and I I can't, you can tell me, but mm -hmm. you know. The earlier 90s material, 92, you know, number 43, these more compartmentalized uh -huh. pieces. This one feels much more open, yeah. much more I'm free, that, almost. That, you, know, that, you know, I need to sort of find that in myself. I have to continue to sort of challenge myself. There's no way that I can actually uh, continue to sort of work and find myself 
on this sort of repeat cycle. Yeah. It just, you, I mean, life would be, it just would not be interesting. Yeah, that's right. So I need to continue to sort of challenge. I love that. Yeah, and I think this is the next thing. I mean, obviously, it's just like the, the, you know, when I was in Cuba and saw how those buildings were disintegrating, I mean, yeah. there's no upkeep there. Right. They don't really have the, uh, the uh, wherewithal, they don't have the skills to sort of like replace or patch, uh, uh, you know, these buildings that are being eaten away by all this salt water. Right. And like um, and the paint's all they, they degenerating. Like they live, yeah, they look yeah. like they're living in my work. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I said I have to do something about this. I said, I have to, you know, this is how you might want to approach color in a way that will be convincing and satisfying. Yeah. And this is this is damn near close to it. Yeah. You know? I mean, I, I, it took me a long time to figure out how to get that to happen, believe it or not. Yeah, no, I do believe did it. You, did you, did, did, did you, not honey, did, when you were there, you were photographing, you were moving around the studio. Did you see like a board with just all remnants and things of like, uh, those are all tests. Uh, Failures, I mean, but they're uh, all trying to get uh, to this. There were like, there were, there were yeah. some paints that I, I froze and, and then hammered and cracked. Uh, there were some that I used, like um, uh, Elmer's glue, the sort of like as a base, and that kind of worked. But it wasn't giving me like when it cracked because the Elmer's once you put the um, sort of like a paint on top of it, and that paint starts to dry, it actually loosens up the glue, and then it starts to separate. So it gives you these cracks, but not as as um, uh, uh, as ferocious as these. This is these these look a lot like the truth. And when you work with this, uh, these other elements, um, these other uh, mediums, and trying to sort of uh, capture that, I found in all my experiments they weren't uh, very satisfying. So I think in the end, it's like, you know, this is, I, I would say this is it. There's probably one element that I was, I was like, okay, debating on whether or not I was gonna attack yeah. this surface uh -huh. with another surface, uh -huh. which would have been, and I'm glad I didn't, because it what it would have done is wash down the color. Got it. It would have been like a mud on top of this. Yes. And you would have been trying to see through, through it. And I said, you know what? That would be, that might be too much because there's already all this information. Yeah, you see it. You don't really want to sort of, you want to be able to realize that. Yeah. And so there's this, this push and pull in the studio in terms of like, okay, when you stop, you know? Right. That's, a, that's for every artist. <laughs> I think that's true. You know, when is enough you hear enough? That, you know, you hear that, but there, there you know, this, it's, it's, it's for real struggle. Yeah. You know, like, um, I believe it. I mean, because I'm a workaholic, so it's like I, ne I need to be busy. Yes. So it's like it's always a pull to sort of like try to resolve it, not in the next one, but to resolve it all in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where the problem starts. Yeah. And you'll see that like with the one you fell in love with, the yeah. uh, Persian. It, it, it started off kind of like this, and then I started layering it with other things. Yeah. And I'm still working on it. Oh wow. Yes. <laughs> that was like six months ago. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm still working on that thing. And is so, the color part you're working on, or is it, it, it the? It's everything. Everything. It's all of it. It's all of it. So I'm put. I'm ripping things out, putting things back in, yeah. bringing new thing elements in. So honestly, the, the the fact that this came out of the studio said that there you could be finished. Right. I could have probably finished that. Yeah. You know, eons ago. Yeah. Well, know? I think maybe because you kind of had a deadline, you wanted to get it done. You set in your own head maybe a goal and say, "I'm. It's got to be done." I went with all the elements that were spiritually sound. Yeah. Um, that were the truth, and I think once, like all those sorts of discoveries that I had made along the way, like with the with the piece that's still in the studio that I keep, you know, you know, attacking, it just <laughs> wants to sort of like get to the next place. Yeah. But within itself, yeah. it's not like this actually is a piece and it, it says, you know what? The next one actually can Hurts happen it. also yeah. and can also have its personality. You don't have to resolve it all in one piece. Yeah. You know? So this is an example of that. So I, I, I'm learning, you know, at my <laughs> yeah, and age, I, and I'm I starting to like figure out that huh? this is actually, <sighs> wow, okay. And I think when you see it in context too, you know then you, you stopped when you should have stopped. Yeah. Because I can't imagine anything else on this. Plus. I can't either, but honestly, in the studio, it's different. It's a different thing. world. No. Yeah. Because they're all. They're you don't have the context. Brothers and sisters. Yeah. And it's like, and they're all trying to sort of reach. It's like, they, like they're, they're all trying to reach that, that high thing on the shelf. Yeah. And they, they're, 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 they're trying to make, make it to that place all at the same time. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. so the one that leaves the studio, you can't touch anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah. Unless you let me hang out here. Yeah. <laughs> you can hang out, but don't touch. <laughs> don't you know, touch. The, the museums have a kind of a, a, a this running thing with, uh, they tell the guards when they see me coming through, get <laughs> me away from the work. And I said, what do you think? I'm a crazy person. I'm going to go in and like rework things right in the museum. Yeah. It's like, what, the, what is that? You know, but that's my reputation. They think yeah. that I'm that crazy person. Yeah. I'm not that crazy. Well, it has a, it has a personality. <laughs> Well, when you think about, I mean, you don't have that many bodies of work out there. I mean, you've been doing it for 30 years, but yeah. you got what, 400 pieces maybe? Yeah. 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 That's about right. So I mean, each you, one's super important. Yeah. Maybe I should loosen up. No. No. I don't okay. think so, actually. Oh, yeah. No. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure how I would, I, how I could honestly arrive at that. I know artists that I admire, who are friends of mine, who can, who, who who approach work that way. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, man, if I could do it that way, you know what I mean? Be, you know, like, a, you know, Zen in my sort of like understanding of when something is like actually has found itself mm -hmm. and, and have that much of a belief that it is, a, it, 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 it's alive. On each level it's alive though. That's the thing. This could have been finished even earlier. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. Like, uh, I remember you sent me some pictures and, and stuff. And I remember you went crazy over and I yeah. was like, dang, who started yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. it's like, and then that makes that does make you hesitate and look and say like, okay, what is he? What did he see? What did he see that I'm not seeing? And it's like, um, and I know that it can be finished at any at any point. You, yes. You just, but they, but I think that it's like life. It's like you layer with with experiences, you know. Yeah. And that's what makes the life actually more interesting because you have so many uh, uh, layers of experiences. And I think that these things have to go through this. Yeah, and you couldn't have done this yeah. 10 years ago, probably, right? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, this is, it had to find its own voice. Yeah, it had to go through all those other things in order to sort of reach this. Well, and the wood just so works together. I mean, it's just so compatible, it's organic. What a selection, and it was gonna be black. They was were gonna be black. Uh, because there was a, there's this huge tree monstrosity, and I can't remember, it was in the studio when you guys were there. But it had all these uh, black. Um, yep, it was there. Yeah, and, and I was like, you know, like literally, it's like if they're in the studio and they're not finished, that means I could rip pieces out of that <laughs> and put it in <laughs> and this do one. It up. And so it was, it was like, and I told the guys, I said, listen, what, this is what we're going to be doing tomorrow. You're pulling that one out, yeah. you're going to attach it to this. Right. And what happened, I, I, I think one of the guys was moving the, the, the uh, ones from these from the front of the studio just because we needed the space, and I saw them. And it made me stop. And that's how we ended up with these the, not being black. These, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah Well, yeah, and it yeah, makes but, such a difference when you put the red on it, too. It really pops it, where you well, can just, you would think, it becomes because, part of the organic but nature. But these are natural. Oh, yeah. Against, like, the black would have worked with this. Yes. With these. Right. So, and, but the fact is, this is now a tree. Yeah. It's a tree. Yeah. It's like, those are, that, I, I, I mean, I know burnt black trees, you know? Yeah. It's like, it would have been a different creature, you know? Um, and I think it would have been, honestly, I would think it would have been far more decorative. This actually is alive in a way that's, um, it's a tree. Yeah. But then you look here. Yes. And so you have the dialogue. same, yeah, it's a be, and you know, who, I didn't know okay. that. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> but when I saw it, I was like, the color on that and the you know the amount of life that went into that tree you know was well, a it lot starts with the idea yeah. that i mean it, 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 there is something that you planted in me even if you weren't aware of it when you gave me the navajo rugs yeah. that actually brought it right back to yeah you know what i mean so uh -huh. it, it's like we're channeling so it's yeah. like you introducing this to me all of a sudden brought in I mean, I could have known that was here. Yeah. You know, but yeah. it works well all around, though. I mean, I'm looking, when I hit that corner, it's like, it's a punch in the face. Yeah, I can <laughs> see it, which is wonderful. That means I found a good home, too. Oh, when well, you worry about that when you take an artist to the, something they loved and spent a lot of effort and time and energy, and they don't know where it's going. They have an idea, maybe. They may know the person, but they don't know the surroundings. Mm -hmm. And so you just don't know until, you, until you're there. And it could be just the opposite. You could have like, oh, man. Uh, you know, they <laughs> always end up inevitably becoming black holes in people's homes. That means there's a gravitational pull. Oh, for sure. And uh, you know, I, I think that's, that's just, I mean, if I tried to, there's no way I could remove that element from the things that I create. So I realized that after I did that, you know, experiment with like 
Okay, take away all of your supposed strengths. Take away your rust. Mm -hmm. Take away your, you know, like a, 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 these rustic colors. And so like, okay, strip that down. Come back. Let's see what you create. And the end result of that was, you know, it, it's it, it's in you already. It's it's you know once you found your voice, baby. It's like yeah, <laughs> yeah, you found it. Well, you yeah, found and, it early. I and it, it 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 you know I'm I just attack. I'm not sitting down planning anything. So when the branches came into play, yes. I told you that story. So it's like it wasn't. I I didn't choreograph that like you know in my right. head and say okay this time. No, it's like. That one came in, then it said that this one belongs there. Yeah. This one now has to go here. Yes. And it's like it, it's a it, puzzle. Exactly. Yeah, it's a puzzle. Exactly. Yeah. And you can see the puzzle. Man, I can see. I don't have an opportunity to sit with later too, right? Oh yeah, we're gonna sit right here <laughs> with a drink when no one's around. Oh, man. And we can look at it. At night. And night's interesting too, because the okay, light. Tell me about that. About what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it? What's oh, at night? night? Well, it's yeah. much more powerful. Because, I can only imagine yeah, because it, 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 yeah, yeah, it just it. really pops. Um, and it, you know, it's a different experience, actually. And I told my wife when we got this, I said, this painting, uh, this, I call it a painting, what it you is. call sculpture, mm -hmm. painting sculpture, takes over the house in a new form. The house has a different energy to it now. And can you guys tell me more about that? I, I'm sorry, I've been like holding up yeah, this, the work. Yeah. Tell me about that, both of you. I need to hear. Yeah, the energy, why? Yeah, yeah. Well, for one thing, it, in, it comes into the room. It embraces you, mm -hmm. okay? So it's no longer just flat art that's on the wall. When you come into this room, you cannot help but want to stop and look. You know, before that's not exactly the truth. And then, you, for people who might not be aware of what's going on, they came in, then they get the exploration of going, oh my God, there's the Navajo textile. Oh, wow, that's really different. How did that all happen? <laughs> you know, what's the story here? Just the, the fact that it comes out so far mm -hmm. and has this hug of sensibility to it, um, it changes the way you approach it. You can't help but uh, recognize the piece. You can't come into this room and not look at this. It would be impossible for somebody to do that. Before, yeah, they might, but no, I don't care what kind of art you're into, you're gonna go and you're gonna look at this. Oh yeah, it has, okay, po it has power. Tape. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's powerful. I, uh -huh. I, 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 need, I need to have that. Yeah, you can run it as a loop, <laughs> baby. Run it as a loop. So this textile for the last year has been on my bed. And I, saying, I every that night, in the, in yep. the every night, I slept underneath that weaving. It embraced me, right? So it's like, okay, it's done what it's supposed to do. Now it needs to have a different kind of life. It needs to. I picked that one. You picked that one, yeah. Six, five or six that you yeah. me. I, mm hmm. And that's what it was, you know, it was my comfort blanket. <laughs> you know? And there is a thing when you have a little extra heaviness on your, you know, on your body. And, mm -hmm. and, the, and, and this has a life too. This may have not been used much as a blanket during his life because it's such pristine condition, but it was made for, to be used that way. Oh and so I used it in that form. And now it's taken on a different sensibilities with this. And so these two pieces will now always be connected. So this can't go without that. Uh. So uh, wherever this goes, that goes. Oh, and, I so and, appreciate hearing this. Yeah. This is, this is uh, an experience. Yeah. I don't usually get like um, to have these kind of, um, you know, like uh, the conversation is one thing, but this conversation also. And in fact, I'm glad that you're recording it. It's like a, I, I need to, I need to, I need to go over this. This is. Um, <laughs> you know, so when I look at it, I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's your baby. I, it's no, still your baby. I, 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 you know, this means I, I just need to, I need to meditate on all this. This is, um, yeah, yeah. It's only the truth, you know. Yeah. It's only the truth. Now I can go back and take the other ones apart. Yeah. <laughs> reverse, reverse engineer. <laughs> You'll be back at the exactly. studio. Yeah. We're taking more down. Yes. Oh, man. Well, I'll get you. I'll get you pictures, and you can and and the blankets. I'll send you some blankets if you want. We if need. Helps you, you know, we need um, a high res image. Yeah, we can do all we that. We have like none of this, and I think in this environment yeah. it would be fantastic. Oh yeah. If you can get it now, usually I'm doing it from there 
obviously in the front and from there is yes. usually enough. But because you have so many other things surrounding it, it would be great to get it, you know, within the context. You know, uh, uh, you know, the full-on experience is really the context yes. of, of, of where it is. Yes. And like, uh, so that would really be the fourth uh, photo. Yeah. It, it, and, and anything else that you can add to. Yeah. That, you know, like, uh, um, because definitely I would want this to be in the next book. Yeah. Well, um, we'll get we'll get photos of everything. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I think it's nice to see, you know, as being an art dealer, I love the fact that something done in 1917, which is really totally, you know, you would think might not work together, works perfectly together. That, in fact, it's synergistic. Yes. As far as I'm concerned. The, the synergy is that is the word, baby. Yeah, that is the <laughs> look word. Look at that. I know, you know, right? Sometimes when I look at these after, like, when I have an opportunity to visit them when I'm not able to touch them anymore, yeah. you know, and it's like, I go like, what the hell were you thinking about? How did that happen? <laughs> you know, it's like, um, it, it, there's a strange kind of um, uh, magic that's going on. Uh, that means there's a fever pitch, in, you know, when you're working on them. And there's this commitment to uh, of, of, of trying to get on the other side of it. But, you know, in the end, it's, it, it's kind of really pulling you. Mm. It's not you're working on it, it's actually working on you. Mm. So you're, you're actually building yourself and, and also new, the new realization of self. You know, and you have to believe that, you know, because in the end, the end result tells you that. It's not, you don't know it when you're working on it. It's like, oh, okay, I'm being pulled along. Uh -huh. It's not the other way around. Yeah. I'm not the one creating, it's creating me. Yeah. So this is really, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I get to sit with this lady. You do, you can sit all night if you oh, want. You don't yeah, even have to right. go to bed. We'll just pick you up in the morning and get you going. <laughs> Uh, and that one right there, this this one with the holes in it. Yes. Jeez. I know, and it works so beautifully with the other one in contra and and uh, together. It's just yeah, I know. I'm glad I wasn't like, you know, I knew that you guys were going to have to live around it, and I remember the photo you sent me had a couch in front. Yeah. And I didn't stop from putting in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I already knew the couch yeah. was gone. No, no, that's, that, that's interesting. That. Yeah. I, I didn't, it, 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 you know, the, the work that, that what is pulling you, it's telling you what it needs, right? Yes. You're not, even though I knew what was in the room, I said, right. forget that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I already told my wife, it's, all it's, that's gone. Exactly. It's, it's telling yeah. you I need this. Yeah. And I don't know about anything else. I need this yeah. in order to finish myself, so. Yeah, you couldn't put anything in front of this. Oh, no. Yeah. It's, I mean, there's just no way. It wouldn't allow it. It would scream. It would, one of the branches would come off and whack you inside the head. Say, what are you doing? You're hurting me. So, okay, so you guys get to sit there to look. Yeah. So now this is a, yeah. This, yep. Oh. It's a viewing area. The couch was here before, then what was there? So the couch is down there now. Okay, but what, what, what were you, the couch is there. There was, what was a, there? a painting. I sold it. Oh, okay. I said, I got this coming. So that used to be the wall then. So this used to be, well, this, this, the wall. this, <laughs> this had things too. I, I, I so many, no, no, like on so many levels, this is the killer wall. Oh. As you're coming in, it's the, the first thing that hits you. That's right. Yeah. No. Yeah. And keeps it, <laughs> and keeps hitting, and keeps yeah. hitting. No, no, no. Yeah. This no. is an experience. Yeah, no, I'm going to really enjoy watching people come in too. <laughs> Don't let's see listen, if I happen to be huh? in the vicinity when that's happening, huh? don't, don't let them know anything about this. Let them. Oh, no, I want I, to I, I love the body language. Oh, it'll and I'm tell telling you, that's always a good um, indicator of like how people are. It's not do what they have to say, it's their watch their bodies. Like I say, if it's a black hole, there's a gravitational pull. Yes. They be pulled to it and yep. then watch how they do this. Yeah. They do this yeah. and they do this. Yeah. And it's like how long they stay with it. Yeah. And when they start scratching their heads, that's when it gets really Yeah. Cool. And then you can sneak up on them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Leo Drew, we got him. Now we're going to go do a podcast. <laughs> I don't know if it can be any better than this, but. <laughs> well, we could try. Uh, I mean, I, I, I can say I'm not scripted, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not either. Oh, I, no, thank you. Thank you guys yeah, so all right. much. Yeah. Right. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for like, you know, dragging this out of me. I mean, this, this, <laughs> the Art Dealer Diaries are brought to you by Medicine Man Gallery, located for over 26 years in Tucson, Arizona, specializing in antique Native American art, early Western art, including the famed Maynard Dixon, as well as modern art. You can find everything online at medicinemangallery.com. 
There's over 6,000 objects to select from. Also, the Charles Bloom Murder Mystery Series, written by yours truly, me, Mark Sublett. There's six books in this series, and they follow the protagonist Charles Bloom through all the intrigue of the art world set in Santa Fe and the Navajo Nation. These can be found on Audible, eBooks, Amazon, and of course, the gallery at medicinemangallery.com.